back to Summit Sunrise here with Henry Barr in the studio. You might recognize Henry from being a realtor here in town for over 30 years? About 35. About 35 years. Now, Chaco is a huge fan of Henry's. And, uh, you know, actually, um, Dick, our, our guy that does graphics, has a great saying about, you know, you never know if you can really trust people until you see how they are with their animals. <laughs> Do you see this right now? This is one of Chaco's favorite people. It's very rare that he even gets up to say hello, but he cannot, he cannot stay away from Henry. So I think that just says oodles about the kind of guy that you are. And obviously, you know, we've seen you in, in your commercial with your mm -hmm. horses and big animal lover, huh, Henry? Very much so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got 11 of them. Oh, and, and he's just not going to leave you alone. <laughs> so now um, we, know, <laughs> we know that you love animals, Henry, but we also know that you love Summit County. Obviously, mm -hmm. if you've been here for 35 years. Yeah. What do you feel like it is that has kept you here for so long? Um, just the way of life, I think. Just the, the pace of life. I sure am not a city person. Um, I enjoy the way of life and the amount of nature we're around all the time on a full-time basis. And part of the beauty of my job is I get to be out in it all the time and be able to brag and show our visitors what we really live in. And it brings me back to sometimes you get non-complacent about it and just, you know, it's just there and you don't acknowledge how wonderful it is. Mm -hmm. But when your day is spent showing people around and pointing things out to them, it's really it's sort of a fun job. I, I can imagine that would be a really fun job. And so obviously with your experience living here as long as you have and being out as much as you as you do get out, you obviously know the good deals when they come up. And so there's a there's a property that you brought with you this morning that's uh, that's being featured. And what makes this property um, so great in your opinion? Uh, basically it's really easy. This this is an easy property to talk about goes back to the three words of real estate, location, location, location. <laughs> um, this is one of those really unique properties, centrally located in Frisco, and it is in one of the premium places in Frisco, sits high above Byron Park, and above the river, above the park, and above its own private fishing pond that's shared with the town. Oh, uh, this really? This property shares the pond with the town and it's um, the town maintains it but they actually have some ownership and usage in the pond okay next to the hiking trail that goes right down through it to the, the park from the property um, and vistas from all over it sits up high on the bluff overlooking all of that and so this obviously would be a perfect opportunity for someone that does love the outdoors, mm -hmm. maybe enjoys a little fishing yep. or uh, obviously hiking. Uh, it would be a great property. And so it's, it's uh, 66 to Shoshone Drive, mm -hmm. and it's in Frisco Heights. So um, tell me about the, like the floor plan, and what are we going to find when we walk in? Well, we're going to find a property that in some respects is, um, seems very modern and renovated, and in other respects, you can see this was one of the, you know, this was an older structure in Frisco that's had a tremendous amount of work done to it, in most cases, all the way down to the studs. But it has that premium, premium location, and it just makes it um, so much more unique. You have four bedrooms, you have three baths, uh, three and a half baths, actually, huge two-car garage, open floor plan on the main level with all the windows that face south. You look um, to peak one towards Breckenridge. Um, you have a huge wraparound deck that overlooks the park. And like I say, sitting in the house, you can you know, look down to the park watching people you know, play volleyball, do their thing down at the park. Or you can watch pe uh, people throwing sticks to the dogs and watching the dogs in the pond. Or you can watch people fishing in the pond. Or people fishing in the pond chasing the dogs out of the pond. You know, you have all that capability. You're just right there. And with this big deck all the way around, you're just able to sit there and look at this full time. I mean, this wow. is your view. Look at this. This is absolutely stunning. And, and we're actually looking at these pictures from the MLS listing that we found on your website, yep. mm -hmm. which um, something that's really convenient about your website, Henry, is that, you know, people don't have to actually like create any kind of like a username or a password. They can, you can just browse. From they can browse to their heart's content. Uh, it's been a very conscious decision and it must, it comes up with uh, my marketing people at least once a year, whether we make a sign in so we can capture leads or capture people. I'm totally against that. I know I won't stay on a website if there's a capture of any type and I won't do anything for somebody to somebody else that I wouldn't do for myself. So it is a 
come on the website, stay as long as you want, look as long as you want. Uh, you can look at, it, there's not a limit. Some websites have a one picture limit, some have a three picture limit. Mine has, look as long as you want. I don't care. I have people that tell me they've been on the website five, ten years. And then all of a sudden they contact me when they're ready. You can search the whole MLS, you can look through all the pictures, um, and we'll never know you're there until you tell us you're ready. You know, I, uh, I certainly haven't been on it for years, but I definitely do like to look and see mm -hmm. what's available. And guaranteed every time I'm going to your website, because it is so easy to access and because, uh, you know, again, there's there's no picture limit. And just another small example of the kind of guy that Henry is. I mean, not, not putting those small little captures on his website because it's not what he wants done to him. That, I mean, that's amazing. No. It's, just, it's just, you know, doing to others is, you'd have them do it to you is really how we try and run my office, how we try and work with people. I mean, that's just sort of our philosophy. It's a pretty easy one. It's a pretty basic one. Just another testament to why we love you so much right now. So <laughs> if people, you know, are up here this weekend, they're obviously they're falling in love with Summit County just like we have, mm -hmm. and they're interested in getting in touch with you about maybe looking at some properties or just kind of, you know, testing the waters a little bit. What's the best way to get a hold of you? Um, the best way to get a hold of me is <clears throat> any of them. <laughs> you know, go to the website. It's really easy, henryebar.com. That's at henryebar.com. Call me on my cell, 389-7533, or um, call our office phone, 368-7643, but probably the cell, 389-7533. We will be out and about this weekend doing open houses in Frisco. It may be actually tough to get to our office, or it may be very easy, depending on whether you're going to be at the Frisco Barbecue. That's right. We're right on Main Street. <laughs> there is no parking. So if you are walking down Frisco Main Street, please feel free to stop in. Yeah. Um, probably driving to it this weekend is not going to be the easiest thing. But if you want to meet us, we'll meet you somewhere. Um, we have ways to get in. We have ways to get out. And we will be out doing open houses in this house. That being featured today will be open during most of this weekend um, probably some today and Saturday definitely so stop by take a look and see if what we're saying is correct and take a look right man go go get yourself a little barbecue score mm -hmm. stop on in say hello yeah. to Henry um, but obviously you know someone that is gonna put their cell phone number on the screen on TV also you know this guy <laughs> is trustworthy so Henry thank you so much it's so great to see you oh my and pleasure it's a pleasure good to, have to be you back here. getting into summer this year started yes. early and uh, yeah, right? feels like it just from the weather and from the amount of people here a little bit earlier than normal mm -hmm. as you know very last year father's day we had snow so right right definitely a vast difference <laughs> but i for me it's a welcome difference yep, i so. really i'm really looking forward to to this weekend so again uh, get in touch with, with henry and, um uh, just really quickly before i let you go mortgage rates i mean is it a good time it's still buying? a phenomenal time they have in i think ticked up maybe an eighth of a point but they're still hovering right around four percent on a 30-year fix it's um just unbelievable. I mean, you're talking to a person who had his first mortgage at 19%. So, I mean, we're talking 4% or if it went to 4.125, it's to my mind, it's really not much. It's just such a historically different. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Try what getting a, a mortgage at 19%. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's not going to happen for me. That, definitely, <laughs> so, not. definitely not. Definitely not. Alright, well give Henry a call or stop by the office this weekend and uh, and make sure that you at least give him, give him a, a shout or, or look him up on the website. It's so easy to do. We're going to take a quick break here in Summit Sunrise, but so much more still to come, so don't go away.